the Spirit's not a coconut. The fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the Spirit's not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. The fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. If you want to be a pineapple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, cause the fruit is Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hey! Our next song is called, I've Got the Joy, 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 Down in My Heart. And then you go, where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Get ready for the surprise. Here we go. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. in my heart and I'm so happy so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the love of Jesus love of Jesus down in my heart down in my heart down in my heart I've got the love of Jesus love of Jesus down in my heart down in my heart to stay and I'm so happy so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart and I'm so happy so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart down in my heart down in my heart I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart down in my heart to stay and I'm so happy so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart and I'm so happy so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Slapstick Theater. Paul and Barnabas. This is Paul, Rawr. who once hated the followers of Jesus and would do anything he could to stop them from telling others about the good news of Jesus. But Paul met Jesus in a miraculous way, and his life was changed forever. Wow! He went from hunting down the followers of Jesus to being one of them himself. Yeah, all right. When Paul was in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers there. Oh, I got way up. But they were all afraid of him. Oh, man. They did not believe he had truly become a follower of Jesus. Yeah, Paul, follow me. Then a man named Barnabas 
brought him to the apostles and told them about how Paul had seen the Lord and how the Lord had spoken to Paul. Yeah, it's true. He also told them that Paul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Eh, okay. So Paul stayed in Jerusalem with the followers of Jesus. He told many people about Jesus and they came to follow Jesus too. Paul and Barnabas went to do special work for God. Yeah. They preached the good news about Jesus in many places until they both went separate ways to tell others about Jesus. They're there. I'm there for you today. Uh, all day I'll try to be there for you. Might you some lemonade? Don't worry, be happy. Um, okay, thanks. But isn't anybody gonna help me? Oh, I'm only working on being gentle with this, so. So, I did that last week. Today I'm trying to be hateful. I'm practicing my kindness, see? Getting some lemonade would be a nice thing, don't you think? I woke up happy today. So, I decided to be joyful. What are you all talking about? We are all practicing the fruit of the Spirit. Not this fruit, not the one we eat, but the one that God gives us in our spirit. Today, I'm working on patience. So take your time. We have all day. But can't anybody give me any advice? Oh, I guess I can. I'm working on peace. To have peace, you must be able to forgive. And if you do not forgive, you'll just keep on fighting. But I'm not fighting. Not yet, anyway. Oh, okay. Um, if you do not forgive, you will just keep on being angry about the situation, which will not give you any peace. Okay. So I need to forgive the bully. But what else? There's got to be something else. Oh, I just feel like going over there and telling that bully what's what. I thought you were working on patience. I am. I guess I should have worked on self-control today. Anyway, whatever. Okay. I have all day. I have all day. All good. How is this helping me? What should I be doing? Well, I'm working on goodness, so I can help you there. You, uh, you need to be good, which means you need to be just, which means you need to seek righteousness. Huh? Oh, I just can't take it anymore. Let me explain. You need to do what is right. It means you need to do what is right. There, there. I'm there for you today, anyway. Thank you some lemonade. You look like you need some lemonade. Just be happy. Ah, uh, aren't you supposed to work on all the fruit all at the same time? That would be crazy. I can't even work on one at a time. It's impossible. And aren't these the fruits of the Holy Spirit? What's your point? Well, the fruit that you are doing is it God's fruit or your fruit? Huh. Well, I guess if we're doing it all in our own strength, that would make it our fruit. It isn't very good fruit at all. Yeah, our fruit is kind of missing stuff like love. Love is the most important fruit of all. And everything we do should have God's love in it, or it doesn't mean anything. Of course. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is good. Only God can make good and perfect fruit. We need to let God do everything for us. Then people will see Godly fruit in our actions. Well, that would be way easier. Okay, what do I do about the bully? First, we need to do the right thing. Right, so let's pray about the situation, then tell the teacher about what is happening. And second, we're going to need to forgive the bully, whether the bully is sorry or not. But we should also try and stay away from the bully if we can. And if the bully comes near us, let's stick together. And third, we need to be kind. Good plan, everyone. Now, let's all go do the right thing. Hey, you know, I think this is what good fruit actually looks like. Thanks, guys.
Hi everyone, Sarah again. Welcome back to day five. Can you believe that this is our last day? This week just flew by and today we're talking all about joy. So we have a really fun day for us today. So our first activity we're going to do is some rock painting. Now I've given you some rocks in your bucket. So when you pull out your day five bag, but you can also find rocks I'm sure around your house or your neighborhood that you can continue to paint. You might not all have your own paint, but I know that you'll be able to share with each other and you'll be able to use it. So you'll get some paint and this is acrylic paint. Now if this gets on your clothes, you're not going to be able to wash it out. So put on either a paint cover or some old clothes that it doesn't matter if that gets on you because we don't want to ruin any of your good clothes with our paint. So you'll get your paint and then you can paint up your rocks and put on some messages for them. So I made a little B that says be kind. So you can do that or you can do, um, you can just paint them, put a picture on them, up to you what you would like. But think about what we learned this week. What are some messages that you could put on about things we've learned to spread the good news about Jesus' love and God's love and what can we do to help lift the spirits of those in our community that if they were out for a walk and they saw the rocks, that they could see this good message. So think of something, some positivity, happiness, joy that we can have on our rocks to spread that for our community. Our second activity is you'll get some chalk. And with that chalk, we're gonna do the same thing is to write a positive message or a picture, maybe on your sidewalk or your garage, what you can draw uh, so that those that pass by and see it will think of the joy and Jesus love and the good news that we're spreading more positivity. And our last activity is two noisemakers. So you'll get these and then there's lots of stickers for you that you can decorate these up and then we're gonna make some noise to spread that good news. So that's our first one. And the second one is with these buckets that we have, these can be made into drums. So you can spread that good news, make some noise with our drums. So, okay, so you can make that, make lots of noise to spread that good news. And as well, you might have noticed that we have a lot of plastic bags that all of our activities came in. We're at the end of the week, I'm sure you have a whole bunch of them by now. So thinking of our environment, what could you do with those bags? Get creative, instead of just throwing them out, what other things could we do with them to help reuse them so that we take care of our planet? Okay, so this is our joy, so make some noise, be happy and spread that positivity. Hi Spirit Campers, it's Pastor Sonia. We have been delighted to spend this week with you online as we've learned together about how to use the fruits of the spirits in our life every day and learning how to be a bucket filler. Those two kind of go hand in hand, don't they? We hope that this has been a great time for you and we want to thank you again for joining us. Keep spreading all the fruits of those spirit. Have a great summer. I am a bucket filler, this is who I am. I try to think of others and do the best I can. I lend a helping hand, let someone know they're not alone. And if the kind words that I say brighten someone's day, I'm happy cause I know, yes, I am a giver not a taker yes I am a builder not a breaker filling buckets up overflowing hearts this is who I am I am a bucket filler this is what I do every time I look I look to see the best in you if your buckets empty I make an effort on my part to look beyond the surface and see what's in your heart. Because yes, I am a giver, not a taker. Yes, I am a builder, not a breaker. Filling buckets up, 
overflowing hearts. This is who I am. Sometimes it isn't easy, and I struggle just to know how to fill another's bucket when my own bucket is low. I stop and take a breath and try to listen if I can to the voice inside that reminds me who I am. We are bucket fillers. This is who we are. We fill each other up as we go reaching for the stars. We are bucket fillers, and here's the magic of it all. When we help each other, every one of us stands tall. So yes. Buckets up, overflowing hearts. This is who I am. Filling buckets up, overflowing hearts. I will do my part. Cause this is who I am.